Hello and welcome. In this video, we're gonna be covering how to render out of Unreal Engine 5 as an MP4 or an AVI format. I know a lot of you have been asking about this. It's unfortunately something that's a little more difficult to do now than it used to be in Unreal Engine 5, but I found a way that you can do it and render it straight out of engine into these formats. And I wanted to share that with you. At the end of the video, I will also be covering how to render out in a higher quality format in DNX or ProRes. If you're interested in learning more about Unreal Engine as a filmmaking tool, I have an online course called Unreal Engine Filmmaker. So if you like what you hear in this video and you like to dive deeper into the whole process of building assets, environments, and shooting films, then check that course out. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is opening Unreal Engine up here. And I have this shot that I've been working on and I'm ready to render out. So I'm going to either go up here to the window cinematics and movie render cube, or I can actually come down here now to this render movie with the little three dots. You can choose whether you're using the movie render cube or the legacy movie rendering options. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this button and this will open up the movie render queue, of course, with my sequences already added. If you want a little bit more in depth about how to do this, check out one of my other videos. I'm gonna open up the render settings here and I'm gonna come here to settings and the option that we wanna use for rendering out MP4 or AVI formats is the command line encoder option here. So when I open it up, it's going to give us an error message here that says no encoder executable has been specified in the project settings. And so we're going to need to be specifying to Unreal Engine the encoder, which is the piece of software that's going to take your video, compress it in the MP4 container or AVI container. Those are containers. And then within those containers, it's going to be compressed using H.264 in the case of MP4. If we come over here to our settings, edit project settings, I'm going to be scrolling down all the way here till I get to the plugins area and I'll be looking for movie pipeline CLI encoder and this is where we're going to be entering in the information of the piece of software that's going to be creating this mp4 file but we don't have that piece of software yet so we need to go online and download it so I'm going to switch over to my browser here so the software that we're going to be downloading is free it's open source and it is called ffmpeg or ffmpeg okay I'm going to search that and choose ffmpeg.org and click on the download button here come over to the Windows option click on this first option here we want an exe file so I'm going to scroll down to release build I'm going to choose this ffmpeg release full and it's going to go ahead and download to my computer once it is downloaded extract it once it's extracted I need to place it somewhere in my computer that Unreal Engine can then read it from and for me I'm just going to go ahead and drag it into my C drive once in the C drive let's navigate to it open the folder come to the bin folder and come to this FFmpeg application. We're gonna copy this file path here. Back in our project settings, we're gonna come back to the command line encoder area and this executable path here is where we need to put the path to our FFmpeg encoder. Paste in that path, but I also need to add in the name of the file. So I'll do another backslash and then it's FFmpeg.exe. So now it will know to run the software from this location. Next, I'm going to tell it what is the codec information. And this is where you will decide if you want to be rendering out an MP4 or an AVI file. In my video codec, I'm going to be putting LIBX264. And then for the audio codec, I'm going to put AAC. And for the output file extension, I'm going to be putting MP4. For. And if you wanted to render out as an AVI, this is what you would put libxvid. And right here you put in AVI. I'm gonna change it back to MP4. Just to review, we're rendering out here the container of MP4 using the codec H.264, which in this case, this is using the shortcut in the software to tell it this is the encoder it's using. This is the audio codec, which you can change as well, but I'm just gonna leave it as AAC. Once all of this stuff is entered in, I can come and close the settings. And if I come back to render my sequence here, and I open the render settings, come back to the settings, command line encoder. You'll notice it doesn't give us an error anymore. Here you can choose a few settings options, which I would probably just leave at epic. We want to check delete source file, which will get rid of the long image sequence after the video file is created. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few additional settings here. I'm gonna add my anti-aliasing settings. I will give it a five and five. Turn on override anti-aliasing. Again, I have another video on these settings specifically, which you should check out for more information. 
animation. And in my output area, I'm gonna choose my resolution and my frame rate, also where the render is exported to. Once I hit accept, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit render. Let's see if it worked. We'll come to our saved movie renders folder. And I actually made a folder here for MP4 files. So I'm gonna open that up. And here is our sequence that we rendered out as an MP4 video. And if I open it, it looks like it is playing through here perfectly. So that is how to render out as an AVI or an MP4 file. But if you want to render out at a higher quality, but not an image sequence, here's what you need to do. First, go up to your plugins and we're going to enable two different options here. I'm going to type in Apple and Apple ProRes Media here. This is why I need to render out ProRes files. Going to enable that. I'm going to also search DNX, Avid DNX Media plugin here. This is what I need to render out Avid DNX files. So these are two options that you have to render higher quality video files. It's going to prompt me to restart the engine. Now the engine is restarted. I am going to go back, open up my sequence, add it to the render queue, open up my settings here, disable JPEG, open up settings. And now we have Apple ProRes, for example, which is going to give me Apple ProRes 422, 444. This will give you a larger file, but a higher quality file. Depends on your uses, but these are different options that you have available to you. All right. Hope you found this video helpful and good luck.